Hello racers and welcome to a new episode of the FIA Gran Turismo Championship Nations Cup and we're at Cato Driving School today it's just the one single long track today um, forgive me for not pronouncing it I will look it up for next time there you see we finished fifth there um, pole position was in 136.526 so we were a good bit behind them um, we were three seconds slower than our best in, you know, the pre pre form qualifying. You know, when you go in there and you do a free free practice lap, I was three seconds quicker in the free practice at one thirty four four one seven. As we start, as always, the first thing is to remember surviving the first lap, and as we begin the chaos and carnage. So. We're coming up to the first turn here. Now we don't need to take it too wide. Come on, Steve, now. Yep. Oh, don't stay in, stay in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's good. We're on the turn. Where are we? Nope, we can see one on the radar, so we're not that far in front. Need to take these S's really well and not slide off anywhere. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, nice gap there. Go on to the inside and swing to the outside, and then boom! Oh dear, uh, we murdered him, didn't we? And we got a three second penalty. What we're going to do is going to have a quick look at that from the other drivers. As you can see, we're looking behind us now. He stops, and then he goes off. Yes, he's. Now we see that so many times when you come off, you just slide off, and as you can see, everyone's going behind him. I've left him in dead last there, and all I got is a three-second penalty. It was my fault. I have to take full blame for it. He, he did come back and finish ninth, though he did. So that was a good recovery by him. So fair play to him as we start up again. Now we need to be careful here, and that. They do slow down a bit, little bit too much there, but oh, I get knocked there and I lose control and come back on. He gets a one second penalty for that, which I lose one place, but I don't know if one second is enough. And he comes steaming up with a dive bomb in a Stuka there, a German and a Wolfpacker. He gives me a little tap there, and now I swing across, and yes, I hit him too. And I get a one second penalty. We'll have another look at that from another perspective there. As you can see, Wolfpack goes in there and wipes us all out. He sends him off. He's finished. And I go screaming across and I push. That was a hard thump, wasn't it? And that's him off the track. Now, we're going to stay with him here because he doesn't actually unghost it. There he goes there now and he loses it again there. And he comes off. And that's him, what, 15th? 14th, 15th, now it comes to there, so we whacked him again, another one to the end of the pack there, that's another one I'm going to have to take um, a blame for, because that was my fault again, um, so what we're going to do, is, that's the end of the first lap, so we survived it, and we're in 8th place, we dropped 3 places, but I, I'm quite happy with the fact that we're, we're still alive in this race at the moment, so what we're looking for now is a few good king naps and see what happens here. Oh, there's a dive bomb. I come up off the track, get nudged there. Uh, he gets one second penalty for knocking the other guy off. But again, I don't think that's long enough. Um, so again, we've gone up a place there. No, we're, we're staying in the same place, but the guy in front of us changed. So we're going to take him over here. That's not a good corner there. Take over him and we're up into seventh place now. So what I'm looking for, as you can see, speeding it up is apexes and turning points. As we go blue there, which isn't a good thing at the moment because we're so slow, um, we take that DS is there a lot better. Now we come up to the air pin and take that now. The wall of death, that's good. That's good. Now we need, oh, they're not the greatest turn in there. Um, as we slow it down again, what we're going to do is we're going to go switcheroo. There's the switcheroo and I'm on the inside. Yeah. I got him there, didn't I? That was a really good move, I thought, when I saw him. That's about the only good thing of this race so far there. As we take it and we make it stick and we speed it up again. So now the idea is just to keep a good few laps in there, keep close to f four and five, and then we see what we can do, what we can pick up on the way. So we are, again, you can see that, again, that corner's not the greatest. The wall of death, what happens here? Oh, lucky, lucky. 
Don't give me a penalty. Oh, there we go, half a second, I'll take that. That's better than running into the wall. And there's now this Spanish guy, he's the one who caused some of the problems earlier. He's going to come back up later and all. He's not going to be far from the action. Um, again, we're doing quite well. We're extending the track, we're gaining on him, so we are faster. The practice we put in again is helping here. We took that air pin a lot better, and the wall of death was a lot better as we lose the. Um, we go to lose the penalty in that. Now I do feel there, I've watched it back five, or three or four times this, so I do think if we had that penalty we would have been a lot closer, but there's carnage there as he gets a three second penalty for knocking him off there, so we're up to fifth, we're back where we started here after what, five laps. So, we're not doing too bad. We're gonna take, we're a little bit too far away from fourth now to take it, but we do take him in the pits. Now the strategy is medium, medium, hard. Now I do, re as normal refuel, I did refuel a little bit low there, but I get a little love tub out the back, but I come out ahead of that Spaniard, which is really good. I didn't want to be caught. He holds the line well there. And look at him, oh, he takes a little nibble, tries to take a little nibble out of me, but doesn't actually make it. And he zooms up the inside on a dive bomb and get the old up and under there. Yes, that, that was a good move. I like that. It was a bit stupid from him, but I'll take it. But as you can see now, again, we need to build a gap now. And there's third in front of us, so, so we've got something to aim for. We've got some company in front of us, so that means we, we hopefully will do well. That we, we've really ganged on him and we didn't you know, try the old switch route. He did really well there not to turn in on me. So he actually started, I think it was 16th on the grid that Eagle Eye did. So he's having a really good race at the moment. <laughs> you know, if there's a winner in this race, it's him at the moment. As again, we hit the apexes there. We have a far better last turn there than we normally do. So the first corner, that's not bad in fourth gear. Hitting the apexes there, taking that well. And we need to follow it up. That's a nice corner too. We put the practice in, so, so we're seeing the dividends again here by, by putting in those hours of practice. Again, that was another good corner there. We're extending the gap between us and fourth place. We are slowly catching up on second place, but we just need to put a few good more laps in there. Again, we hit the apexes, we take that really well. With the S is it, this is all, at the moment, this is all practice laps. You know, not a good turn there. Again, we slow down. Oh, 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 oh. We didn't hit the wall of death, so I'm quite happy with that. But please don't give me a penalty, and there we go, one half a second penalty. But the good thing is, we, um, we got a good gap between us and fourth place, so we should be able to not do too much damage on that there we go that's some it's a good good art good good sector there we take that a lot better and, and let's hope we can stay on the track this time that's a lot better there so we can see that the, the problem with those two laps there was they lost us about two five seconds um, with that five seconds, it could have been a lot closer to second place. Um, it shows you the importance of the small margins about winning and losing or getting above the pack in these races, these laps. They were two poor laps there, which which did help me. So I'm coming in for the last pit stop here. We do refuel a bit here because I'm not going to, I don't like the idea of fuel saving when you're trying to go flat out. It, it just seems counterintuitive and we drop back to fifth there. Now, that was, I think, packed mainly down to the last two laps being pretty poor, although that in lap, and we get a little a couple of little love taps there with. He didn't like us going by him. Yeah. I, I don't know why. It, it, you're only lying to yourself. So there we go. We've got three, be, three in front of us, the third place in front of us, and the second place isn't far in front of him because he's just come out of the pits. So we've got these couple of laps now. We just have to um, close the gap and hopefully we can, can catch him on the last lap by having a good lap. As you can see, we are slowly catching him. He's not had so much of a good turn there and there he was really poor. As we come into the last lap now, you can see my petrol gauge is 1.2 laps. So that's good judgment on the petrol there. 
we need to take this lap really well now here we go that's a nice first corner there now through the S's we are slowly gaining on him the uh, I think one of the good things is was the tire strategy coming on the good tires in the last couple of laps I think always trumps old tires at our level it's all right when you're up in SS or a or a plus classes but when you're down in C I think new tires are better than old and they give you better speed for out my level of driving as you can see we've really caught up with him now so we really need to get him on the last couple of laps he slows down a lot there he nearly catches me as we see second in in eye shot there can we catch him too so here we go around the last couple of corners now we need to keep keep the pressure on to him see if he'll make a mistake and we take that a lot better or oh, we're right up his tailpipe there and we get that little slide on that oh that's caused that little bit of a gap there now we need to take the wall of death really well there we go around the last corner oh he's had a bit of a wobble on he's he's hit the curbs that's caused him to slow down now can we take him get in the wheel get in there lewis go on oh what a last turn eh? oh you'd think i was a bus driver the way i went through that gap <laughs> what a way to finish the race <laughs> sneaking on the last corner get in there lewis <laughs> so we went up two places in there overall not a bad race but still some room for good improvement there a couple less crashes but we'll take that on the chin as we go up two places to third and we get 30 points there what a race what an ending what a start and what an ending crashes galore and then a last corner to be proud of and that brings us nicely to close of this episode of the fia championships don't forget if you did like this please cl click the thumbs up button because youtube have changed their algorithm again and it's causing channels like me to find it harder and harder to find wonderful races like yourselves so don't forget to kick that like button and hit the subscribe button too and all that's left for me to say is I'll see you on the next lap.